and then we want to talking hands. <laughs> I'm the Prodigal Fool. I'm sitting here over a glass of uh, uh, over an empty glass of wine with my co blogger on the Prodigal Guide, Straight Six. Hey everybody, we're gonna correct that situation. Thank you. Thank you. Very decent. Um, guys, we've got um, a bit of a departure for the Talking Hands this time because we're looking at two watches at the same time, two watches from the same brand. Indeed. Um, a brand which um, is not as well known as, as we think it deserves to be and, and one that we only discovered, what, about a few months ago, six months ago? So. Yeah. Um, Meistersinger. Uh, Meistersinger's big, unique, differentiator, if you like, is that they produce these watches with just one hand for telling the time. Um, and so we've got two examples to sort of chat over today. We've got the number three model, uh, which uh, the six is currently showing you. I think one of the more simple designs in it, it literally is just um, the time and nothing else. And this, that six has been wearing for a couple of weeks now, the... Paragraph. The Paragraph. Um, the added complication here is that you've got a date, uh, date function in a in yeah, it's like inner dial here. Dial, the inner dial, yeah. Meister Singer, a German brand, not been around for too long. It was founded by Manfred Manfred Brassler. Brassler, yeah. Brassler, yeah. who we've actually had the distinct pleasure of meeting. A lovely, lovely chap. He's charming, isn't it? A nice guy. He really is, yeah. and we were totally bowled over by him. That and the champagne, of course. Um, and what do you? I think, what he explained to us after we were sort of a bit gobsmacked by these one-handed watches was that he was inspired by the very first wristwatches, sorry, not wristwatches, pocket watches that came out sometime in the 17th century, right? Yeah. All of these, in fact, used only one hand. These were, of course, inspired by the very first sundials and were later complicated by some fool adding on an hour hand. Good, it's, it's, it's very clear. Uh, and the first thing is, as you were just talking about, you know, this this single hand. So first off, that's just straight away a differentiator from yeah. any other watch out there. Yeah, I, I've never seen another watch that does this. Um, you know, as you said, in the 17th century, this is what they all did. But nowadays, I, I, I think I think Meister Singer are the only brand who do this, and that. it's brilliant. Best of my knowledge. Um, if you read their marketing blurb, uh, they have some fairly pretentious overall language about how <laughs> having a single hand makes you feel more relaxed. It slows down it slows time. down time. This is a great line. Um, and it sounds as stupid as Biver talking about you know regulating time with um, with that latest uh, nonsense they produce. But <laughs> here's the revelation: having having worn this yeah. um, for a couple of weeks, it's guess, not bump, guess is what? It? It, no, it's true. It is actually. It genuinely, yeah. it just makes you look on a, a time just slightly differently. It, the second thing, for me, oh, 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 yeah, these yeah, yeah, yeah. need to go back. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> the second, oh. <laughs> we're getting a lot of clanging and banging. I swear no one's going to lend us any more oh, Christ. Um, the second thing is, of course, it's a matter of taste, but to my eyes at least, there's a traditional design to these watches, which is just so sort of timelessly elegant. I just, I, I just think what they've done very deliberately is, 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 is produce something which harks back to original watch design and does it in a very pure way. Yeah. And there are lots of sort of details on the, on the dials that um, do that. For instance, I remember when we were talking to um, Manfred. Uh, Manfred over lunch, he mentioned how he'd added a zero to the single digit uh, numerals on the dial because he, he wanted to preserve the symmetry with the double digit numbers and that Absolutely. way it did preserve perfect symmetry. Um, you look at the watch, you feel it, you touch it, and you, you know, that, that sort of attention to detail is evident, I think, throughout the product. So, so lovely traditional design. The final good point that I wanted to, to make is absolutely, in my mind, in incredible value for money. Now, we don't talk about value yeah, for money astonishing. very often on, on this site, yeah, right? Absolutely. Um, we're too dumb to, but 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 it, it's hard to ignore. I mean, we sort of touched on it in, in I think the Marvin review that we did. These guys are even more uh, attractive from that perspective, in, in, in my eyes at least, because it's sort of everything you could want from a watch, you get an automatic, well, in, in the case of the number three, an automatic movement. In the case of all the watches, at least a, a mechanical movement and a decent one at that. Yeah, either hand one or like that, mechanical. Um, you get the style that we've just been talking about. You get real quality. I mean, there's a lovely 
brush finish to the case, there's the, 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 the leather straps are decent, I mean, it, it, it just stinks of quality, this thing. Um, and finally you get timelessness, you know, this is not a fashion watch, this is something you can buy and wear and use for 30 years and then give it to your son and he'll be just as happy with it. And all of that at absolutely astonishing prices, I think. So for the number three? Um, I don't, I can't remember the exact price, it's sort of just over a thousand euros. I think for the, for the paragraph, three. I'm not mistaken, a couple of hundred pounds more. Probably or more because like you've got the complication of, of, yeah. of the date. But you know, incredibly, I think you call them democratic prices when you first blogged about them. I agree. I agree, I mean, just, just, just honest prices. Well, let me so look, guys. <laughs> hmm. I wish I could find something radically different from what the fool has just told you, but I can't. So I'll be quick and to the point. If you can see this baby, here's what I'll recount to you. I couldn't agree more that it's unique, that it's timeless, that it's classic in a lot of ways. Yeah. This is something that, that we talked about. So for example, the Marvin amused us, or at least it amused me because I thought it was fresh, different, it was a novel approach. Mm. But there was something fun and a little bit frivolous about it. Meister Singer has nothing frivolous about it whatsoever. In fact, there's no fat on it's, these it's, watches. It's very German, isn't it? It's, it's a very serious... It's a sober, they, yeah. serious timepiece. Yeah, they, they, they've set out to make a serious, but, elegant watch, and God bless them. Yeah, and, and guess what? They've actually succeeded. Yeah. I don't know many other brands that in the space of the couple of years they've been on the market have managed to establish such a classic look. Mm. You and I often talk about the Submariner, the GMTs, you know, the Rolexes of this world who've had... 50 or 60 years to establish themselves. These guys have had a handful of years, and I think, yeah. to my eyes, have done something very similar. Yeah, agreed. Really, agreed. really incredible. Second point, you said it already, this value for money thing. You know, look, the Marvin, as much as it attracted me, at a certain point I could say, it's about 900 euros for a watch that is fun, and you can enjoy it for an X period of time. Mm -hmm. You pointed out this is something you might want to hand on to your progeny. Yeah, I mean, I th and you know what? To my, You're to, not, my, to my what? Your progeny, <laughs> old boy. <laughs> Trust me, he's got some. Mm. In any, but, yeah. but 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 handing it on, and I and in wearing this, by the way, to put it a different way, if you okay. were in the market for your one and only quality watch, this would be almost your perfect choice. We do need to yeah. talk about the bad, we um, need to. and yeah. I. I struggled. Um, from a very personal perspective, for this number three, uh, the colour of the strap and the dial left me feeling like this is a little bit flat. This is not the best. Yeah. Well, in some ways it is the best way to present the Meister Singer ethos in that it really just, you're just getting the design and it really comes across. But for my taste, I would have preferred something just a little bit more interesting. And by the way, Boy, have you got it with this, um, what is it, paragraph? The paragraph, yeah, I agree. Uh, a, because you've got just one simple complication, just a, uh, this is the thing I like, it's a Not vague too mechanical much. complication, um, but more importantly, more interesting strap colour and this incredible dial, which I'll, I'll be interested to hear your, your, your take on. This your anthracite issue. sunburst style. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just... The video won't be able to do it justice, but you've got to see this thing in the... Oh, we'll give you some static shots, right? And the, yeah, and the metal is it's just very, very impressive. So that was... So... So it can, be, it can be flat. You have to be careful which yeah, configuration. Yeah. I mean, this to me is, is... On the other hand, if you're looking for an elegant dress watch, then you can't go far wrong, right? But the other bad... Um, and, you know, we're reaching here. But it's actually something that I thought as soon as I saw the watch. I think that you felt the same, and... Um, both our wives completely independently have said exactly the same thing. They did. We don't like the logo, and you, uh, this may yeah, sound really trite right and silly. Yeah, it will sound trivial. Um, I agree. But but my sister thing out are using this um, this logo, which is a sort of a there's a dot, and underneath that a, a sort of um, crescent moon stroke smile type device. Um, and for me, it just it just doesn't. This it doesn't so resonate. The class and style in these products, the logo doesn't fit. It, it, it just okay. doesn't look right. The bad points for me. You'll have noticed, I think, on both, the, both these watches that you've actually got convex sapphire crystals that have been installed in them. Now, this is lovely. This is reminiscent of the old convex um, mineral crystals that we use on a yep, variety of watches. Exactly. So there's a slight distorting effect. You won't be able to see it here, but maybe we'll provide you some shots. Static. So that you can check it out. Um, now that in combination 
with the rounded exterior and the rather large dial means that you can get a, I'd, I can only describe it as an amplification of this convex mm. design, which tends to build from the outside in yeah. and, is ex and is exacerbated by the crystal. I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I would actually say that's a good point. I, I think it's great. I, well, okay, I, so th th there were times... It, gives it, it, gives, it brings the dials to life a little bit. It does. It provides great depth. Yeah. And now, particularly on a dial like this, mm. whose inherent color exactly. is actually flat. It's very flat. So you, that, 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 that. Now, something like this one, which has got great great depth, it's an anthracite yeah, sunburst this, this dial. Yeah, not need it. It probably doesn't exactly. So then you get to the point where... Okay, but it's sort of an intrinsic part of what makes up the DNA, yeah. the design DNA of, yes. of the brand. And I think, you know, you wouldn't only do it on one model, you'd want to... So it, I think it's a footnote, but you may find that mm, a number of cheaper watches have the same distorting effect on their crystals, minerals, sapphire, or whatever the hell it may be. Uh, I, no, that no. I... That I... Well, at least that, I disagree that bugged me that. sometimes. I right. disagree with you about that. Now, second point. The paragraph, and I believe this model to be 43 millimeters, is too large for the thin wristed amongst us. That can't be for, no, that's not 43, is it? I believe, it's, it's at least a 42, it may be a 43. The best, the best of my knowledge, I think this okay. is a 43. Well, straight off, let me tell you, I know what you're about to say, oh, it's too big, right? Um, if it is 43, and we'll check it and, and, and put it in the, um, in the notes, then I'm amazed at how small it wears. Yes. Because, the, because these two are the same, right? I mean, yeah. we've both been wearing the same size. Yeah, hold yeah. on. And the Marvin Cousin, the Molten 160 that we tried, was a 42 millimeter, and it wore significantly larger than these. Yeah, yeah. Significantly. Yeah. So that's another point. But here's the good news for the thin-wristed amongst us: is they actually sell, I believe, a paragraph 38 millimeter. So it's no problem. You want a 38? You want a 43? Which would be ideal for you. Yes. Yeah. Last point. Oh, speaking of which, oh, um, for our one and only viewer. Mm. Wrist, a wrist shot. If we're talking about how large they were, yeah. that's some. Um, okay, so we're listening to you, folks. You gonna you gonna put it on too? Yeah, big fella. Why don't you take that little Rolex Explorer off your wrist? All thirty nine millimeters, and we'll show you guys what the Meister Singers at forty three millimeters wear. So, ooh, so are you too close? Uh, that's number three. All right, so he's all right. Big wristed, small something else, but that the wears all right. Eager, now, small eager. Yeah, so here I am, fairly thin wristed, and this is a 43. Sorry, I don't know if you, is yeah, that okay? I, I would try putting it in front of the camera if you want to. Um, sure guys, can. can you see this? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even funny. <laughs> okay, how about this? That show? Uh, yeah, okay. it's like a puppet show. All right, well in any case, Point being is, you lovely, can just pull, even at 43, it's not offensive. Not yeah, offensive. No, it's not, okay. exactly. All right, now, I've got, I've got a bit of a criticism. What, hang on, you've just done three bad points. No, 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 no I've done two bad points. You got another one? It, yeah, here's my third one. So look, guys, you see this lovely white hour hand here? Or ah, it's a central hand. Yeah. There's no loom on it. In fact, there is no loom anywhere on the dial at all. Okay, it's a dress, Which means, it's a dress low lighting conditions... In the dark, you can't see anything. But, that, I, but hang on, no, that's perfectly in keeping with these watches. These uh, are dress watches. They're not sports watches. They're not designed I, to have that sort of functionality. All right, but I, but it, I, in fact, it would be odd if they did have loom. I would say. I'm not sure. I agree. So I've got a different perspective, which is if I've got this big hand here, all in white. The least I would have presumed is if it's all in white, you may as well loom it. No, I mean, why not? Otherwise, oh, sorry, okay, well, otherwise, my next suggestion would have been a design one, which is, why not have a, an actually a brush stainless hand? I'm not sure why we have a white hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, we disagree, folks. We'll not buy one. But the only reason for that is because... Here it comes, folks. I already own this. Oh, you cheeky devil. You brought your little IWC Portuguese. Yeah, I did. And I'll tell you why. And this is actually a compliment to the Meister Singer. I it's brought it along close, it? because the, the two of them. Hey, you can see them. They, they just. <laughs> you know, as soon as I put this on my wrist, of course, I immediately thought about the IWC. Now, this um, Portuguese is what? Sort of four times, five times the price of the Meister Singer? Uh, let's call it four times. And guess what? I think this totally holds its own in terms of quality, look, etc. I agree. Now. 
I have the IWC, and IWC comes with a whole bunch of history and heritage and all sorts of other things. So, yeah, this, this is my dress watch. Um, if you didn't have this? If I didn't have this yeah. and I was not wanting to spend too much money, yes, absolutely, yes. Look at it, it's gorgeous. The mice are saying, fantastic. This is another That's interesting point, point we it, haven't yeah. raised yet. Yeah. Uh, we discovered the brand, and of course there are lots of people out on Twitter, etc., who are far more knowledgeable than we are, when we started talking about it. People came out of the woodwork very fast saying, I love my sister's thing, and they're great. Sure. You get a huge amount of kudos and respect from proper watch nerds yeah. with this brand. Yeah. Because they've recognised, I think, what we've recognised, which is just you know, the, the um, integrity of this and the value for money is, is huge. We get back to the question in hand. Yeah. It's the ugly bottom line. Would you buy one? I cannot help but endorse anybody wanting to buy a paragraph, mm. particularly this model. Yeah, so my question stands. Would you buy one? Would I buy one? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Absolutely. I've, And that's the point I raised about the, in comparison to the Rolex collection I actually have. It's held its own. I've worn it like it's a member of the family. At no time has I ever, have I ever felt that it was actually some sort of intrusion or a temporary piece. Mm. It very quickly integrated itself, almost subliminally, into the collection and said, wear me as you would a classic. I think that's the highest praise I can possibly give it. I, I'm, I'm disappointed because we, we've Why? talked What's a lot about there? injecting more confrontation, uh, more tension into these chats, make it basically more interesting for our we we agreed our far two, too much. Our two viewers, and this has been really dark. We do agree on these, don't we? We do. I, I well, listen. Hey, you know what? For once, we have nothing to fight about. We love them. Well, apart so from you know the what? Guy and the thing in the place. And the thing in the guy place. Join us next time, guys. Great having you. Take Thank care. you.